past year, 19 Town of Enfield employees were recognized for their years of service. 15 employees celebrated their 25th anniversary, two celebrated their 30th, and there was one employee who reached a landmark of 40 years of employment. Many employees of the town are either lifelong Enfield residents or become residents throughout their careers. They are dedicated to quality of service to their town, and their stories are our stories too. I was working part-time at a little photo booth and I wanted my son to go to preschool. He started at the Enfield Child Development Center. He's now 30 years old, so many years ago, and I happened to go pick him up and there was a posting on the wall. I started in 1972, uh, in the at that time it was called the Sanitation Department. Since I've, I've worked my way through from mm -hmm. sanitation for five years, throwing garbage, mm -hmm. to uh, then went to a highway laborer, highway driver, highway operator, then did some parts, the parts room. Then this, this came up, this job came up as park and rec, and I says, you know, this may be a time to try to advance myself, mm -hmm. do, do better. And uh, that was a good moment in my career here with the town, was mm -hmm. becoming a supervisor. School, a guidance counselor took me in and in my senior year, I said, what are you going to do after school? I says, I have no idea. I said, we think about college. And he flipped open a book from Manchester Community College, Law Enforcement uh, Curriculum. And he said, uh, have you ever been arrested? And I was kind of insulted because I was a nice kid. You know, I was, you know, I was, I was a good kid. And you know, I've been arrested and I looked at it and the first thing I thought about was I could pass these courses. When I started, it was only preschool, and it was at the Lamanga Center, what is, and we had 45 children then. We now service 240 children now. Mm -hmm. Actually, page two of the Enfield roster, there's <laughs> actually all these other names, and then uh, underneath me, but underneath this red line are uh, police officers who weren't even born uh, when I got hired in 1976. Mm -hmm. And of course, the next few, names up there, they were like two years old or three years old. Many residents spend their lives in Enfield and serve as witnesses to its evolution. I started uh, November 22nd, 1976, mm -hmm. and I was here during the renaissance of Enfield. Uh, they are redoing Thompsonville. It was uh, a, like it was a dirt pit because they, they already, you know, dug up all the, all the, uh, the uh, you know, the road work. Uh, there was, you know, the old plaza there with Vincent Shoes. Uh, uh, you know, there was, there was absolutely nothing there. Ledger Star was in a real full swing of building homes. He really built up Benfield. Post Office Road, which is, you know, wide and smooth, and, and uh, Moody Road, another one super wide and, and uh, uh, great shape, and even Brainerd Road. Uh, there are like you know, little two-lane roads strewn with potholes. Uh, the infrastructure has been, uh, over the years, just amazing I mean, com compared to the way it was 30, you know, 35 years ago. The majority of people that worked there were mothers or um, we had a grant program. Dorothy Allen was great at getting grant programs and we had a grant program to take welfare moms and put them back to work and get them back out there and we had a lot of that. Now our, what we expect, what the town expects for education level is bachelors, masters, so our, our staff is highly educated. It's come a long ways. I got, we got a lot of good people and I'm, I'm very pleased to be part of the town now. Enfield has a tight-knit community that spends decades evolving and growing together. Because our town employees are an integral part of this community, they will be there every step of the way, making sure that our families are safe, cared for, and supported. We're with Enfield for the long haul and are committed to its bright future. Thank you for watching Good News Enfield and we'll see you next time.